One of the most common questions I get from viewers is what is the best eye cream? And truly what they're asking is which eye cream is gonna stop my dark circles, gonna stop my crow's feet, my sagging skin? And I always say it's not really about the eye cream. It's all about prevention, using the right treatments and using the right products because the eyes are one of the first places that we show our age. So today we're gonna talk about ways to prevent aging around our eyes. with Supergoop on this video because one of the most important tips I can tell you is to wear your sunscreen. That's not just for your eyes, it's in general for your skin. The sun ages our skin. Photo aging is probably one of the worst issues that we face when it comes to aging of our skin. It causes sagging, it causes hyperpigmentation, it causes wrinkles. It is by far one of the worst things for our skin. So whenever we wear SPF, we're definitely protecting our skin, not just from aging, but from burns that can be deadly in the future. One moisturizer that I love is this one from Supergoop. It's a super screen daily moisturizer. It's a really easy way to get your SPF in while you're already treating your skin with moisturizer because it feels super nice on your skin. It's SPF 40. It also has PA++++, which I think is really important because not all American brands tell you how much they're gonna actually protect you from the UVA damage, and this one actually does. And for the eyes specifically, which is the focus of this video, they have a new product that I think is absolutely amazing. It is the Supergoop Shimmer Shade, and it has SPF 30. And when I first heard about this product, I was like, mm, an eyeshadow that has SPF. I wonder how this is gonna look. You guys, it's actually really, really awesome. If you think about it, it's like, you know, we can put a little bit of SPF onto our eyelid, but I feel like a lot of people skip that area. This is a really great way to get that added SPF because it's a cream first off. So it's really, really nice and smooth and easy to use. If you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I love cream shadows because I use them sometimes as a base for my powder shadows, or I just use them on their own because they're so simple. It comes in three really beautiful colors. There's Sunset, that's a brownish tone. There's First Light, which kind of looks like a highlight color that you would use. And then there is Golden Hour, which is a beautiful kind of golden shimmer that you can use on its own or layered with other eyeshadows. They're all really blendable. Right now on my lids, I have Sunset all over my entire eyelid. I also used First Light to really highlight my brow bone because it's a great color to use there and also in my inner tear duct. If you're curious about it, it's a combination of mineral and clean chemical actives. So it's really protecting your skin with an SPF 30 and I always say it has to be at least SPF 30. So these are really great. There are definitely some antioxidant ingredients in it like rose and chamomile to really boost that power of the SPF because antioxidants mixed with SPF is always a really good combination. One of the other things I like about these eyeshadows is there's no creasing, flaking or fading. So they actually are really amazing to check out. I am so much more impressed than I thought I was gonna be with these eyeshadows and I give them a really big thumbs up. Another tip that might seem really straightforward to you is to wear sunglasses. I always tell people it's not about having the right accessory, it's about wearing sunglasses to protect the skin around your eyes. Besides the eyeshadow, I've never really heard of another way to really protect the eye area. It's really just wearing your sunglasses, maybe a baseball cap, that way your eyes get protected from the sun. And so you wanna make sure you're wearing something that really covers your eye area, like this. I love these sunglasses. Polarized is always best because then you're getting broad spectrum protection and it's really protecting your eyes from all of the UV rays, UVA and UVB. But any type of sunglasses really is better than no sunglasses and it really will protect your eyes. And one thing that I point out to people is that when they squint, if they're not wearing sunglasses, they're causing wrinkles because squinting does create that movement that eventually turns into a permanent line. So you wanna make sure you're wearing sunglasses that don't cause you to squint or to raise your eyebrows. If you've noticed that your eyes look a little bit hollow or you're just feeling like the skin around your eyes is a little bit dull, it probably means you need to hydrate a little bit more because hydration is what's gonna keep your skin looking more plump and beautiful and youthful. So if you don't drink enough water, you're definitely gonna look a little more saggy and your eyes will look a little bit more hollow. If you have a hard time drinking water or you feel like it goes through you a lot, add a little bit of lemon to it and it really does make a huge difference. It's not my tip, I got it from a nutritionist and it really has changed everything for me. Another thing, if you're not one of those people that can bring yourself to drink a lot of water, you can definitely eat a lot more fruit, a lot more vegetables. Anything with high water content is definitely gonna make a difference. Another tip is to sleep on your back instead of on your side or even worse, on your face. We spend so much time sleeping every single night and when you're squishing your face against your blanket or against your pillowcase, it's actually causing creases that are gonna stay there for a very, very long time. It's funny because I actually saw Nurse Jamie recently for a facial and she looked at my face and she was like, I can tell you sleep on 
this side of your face because it's where I have deeper wrinkles and it's where my face is a little less plump, which is so weird to me that you, you can actually notice that stuff. If you're like me and you can't get yourself to sleep on your back, then I recommend using a silk pillowcase. Silk is much softer, it's gentler on your eyes and on your skin. It's also actually more gentle on your hair too. Cotton causes a lot more friction on your skin. It causes you to wake up with those sleep creases in your skin. And again, those over time won't go away. So it starts to become more permanent. Silk also has a cooling effect on your skin. So, you know, I don't know how hot some people get while they're sleeping, but I know that I sweat a lot when I'm sleeping. And we all know that heat can really cause hyperpigmentation, especially for people like me who are more prone to melasma and hyperpigmentation. So the cooler you can keep your body, the less that you sleep on your skin, the better it's gonna be in the long term. Or you can use something like this, which is, you know, it's made to help you so that if you are sleeping on your side, it's protecting your eyes. So you use it kind of like this. So it goes, this is the side I sleep on. So this is the side that I would have this part of the pillow on and it's really really helpful one of the other things you can do is to turn the blue light off on your phone blue light has been found to act just like uva rays and so it causes that aging of your skin and if you think about it we're spending so much time in front of the computer so much time in front of our phones and that's why spf that's broad spectrum is really important for your eyes and for your skin because you are just exposing yourself to all of these damaging uva rays or blue light what i love about my iphone is that you can actually turn it to the orange light which i like a lot because it's a little more gentle on my eyes and doesn't cause my eyes to wear out as fast and it's just stopping that blue light which is really more important you know, I get a lot of questions from people that say, if I'm not gonna spend a lot of time outside, do I really need to wear my SPF? And I'd say, yeah, I would still put this on because you know that you're gonna go outside at some point, but also this contains an ingredient that protects your skin from blue light. So you wanna make sure you're constantly just protecting your skin in general because we are always exposing ourselves to something, whether it's the UVA rays or that blue light. All right, so the next tip, you guys, you've heard me talk about this before. It's to ditch your makeup wipes. Makeup wipes are terrible for your skin. I talk about this all the time, but one of the main reasons why you should not use makeup wipes is because the skin around your eyes is really thin and delicate. It's actually the most delicate skin that we have on our face. So whenever you're using something like a makeup wipe, you're tugging really hard to get all of that makeup off, especially mascara. Even if it's not waterproof, it's still really hard to remove it. So you don't wanna tug because all that tugging is going to eventually turn into sagging skin and wrinkles. So you wanna be really, really gentle with your eyes and use a makeup remover that's going to melt down all of that makeup. I've been testing out a lot of different makeup cleansers because you guys are always asking. And this one is called Clean It Zeros by Vanillico. And it is a really affordable option and it really does melt down all of your eye makeup and it works really, really well. And last, I always bring up treatments because we luckily live in a time when there's tons of technology. There are things like neurotoxins, which we associate with Botox and Dysport. Those work to freeze the muscles around your eyes and that can work in ways where it like actually stops the wrinkles or it can even lift your skin because if you if you go to a doctor or, or an injector who really knows how to use a neurotoxin they can actually help lift your brows up and lift that skin in general so that's always an option they can also be preventative in a sense where the wrinkles that you would have gotten won't be as pronounced and deep as they would have been over time so you can also use it slightly as a preventative measure i always tell people you're going to eventually still use the neurotoxins like Botox and Dysport in the future too, but you might not use as much as you would have had to. There are also treatments that use radio frequency and ultrasound, like Old Therapy is a really good one. It helps to really stimulate natural collagen production in your skin, which we all know we lose that over time. It also helps with the elasticity in your skin because that's another one that we lose over time and that's what causes a lot of the sagging. So it all lifts up after you've had Old Therapy done. I haven't personally tried it, but I've heard really good reviews about it from lots of other people. There are also at-home treatments. Microcurrent is really great for your skin. It stimulates your muscles, so it makes the muscles stronger, lifts your skin up, and it's really easy to use. This one is from New Face, and you can see you just kind of get into those contours and it really helps you. You guys have seen us use Zip before. We did it on an episode of The Sass, and it's a really wonderful microcurrent device. So those are my tips to prevent aging around your eyes. Tell me in the comments below if you have any additional tips. Subscribe to our channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.